Now, I want you to make yourself comfortable and relax, and I shall ask you to close your eyes in order that your attention may not be distracted by the objects around you. Tell yourself that every word I say will become fixed in your mind, that your mind will become indelibly imbued and imprinted with everything that I say. Furthermore, without your knowledge or the exercise of your will, in fact, unconsciously on your part, you, yourself, and your whole organism will respond. First, I shall say that every day at the usual meal time, you will feel hungry. That is, you will experience the agreeable sensation which makes you think and say, Oh, how nice it will be to have something to eat. You will then eat and enjoy your food without overeating. You will also be careful to masticate your food thoroughly before swallowing it. Then you will have prepared it for proper digestion and hence will feel no discomfort, inconvenience or pain of any kind, either in the stomach or the intestines. You will assimilate your food and your organism will utilize it to make blood, muscle, strength and energy. In a word, life. Since you will have properly digested your food, the function of excretion will be normal. Every morning upon arising, you will feel the need of evacuating the bowels. Without resorting to the use of medicine or any artifice, you will obtain a normal and satisfactory result. Further, every night from the time you desire to go to sleep, until you wish to awaken, you will sleep deeply, calmly, and quietly. Upon awakening, you will feel rested, perfectly well, cheerful, and active. Likewise, if you occasionally suffer from depression, if you are gloomy and prone to worry and tend to look toward the dark side of life, henceforth you will cease to do so, and instead of worrying and being depressed and looking on the dark side of things, you are going to feel very cheerful and happy, possibly without any particular reason. I say further still that even if you have real reason to be worried and depressed, you are not going to be so. If you are also subject to occasional fits of impatience or ill temper, you will cease to have them. On the contrary, you will always be patient and master of yourself. And the things which disturbed, irritated, or would worry you will henceforth leave you absolutely indifferent and perfectly calm. If you are sometimes attacked, pursued, haunted by negative and unwholesome thoughts, by apprehensions, fears, aversions, temptations, or grudges against other people, all these will be gradually eliminated from your experience by an act of your imagination. They will seem to melt away and lose themselves as the dream vanishes when we awaken so will all these vain images disappear. To this I shall add that all of your organs are performing their functions properly. The heart beats in a normal way, and the circulation of the blood takes place as it should. The lungs are carrying out their functions, as are likewise the stomach, the intestines, the liver, the biliary duct, the kidneys, and the bladder. If at the present moment any of these organs are acting abnormally, that abnormality is becoming less every day, so that quite soon it will have vanished completely, and the organ will have recovered its normal function. Further, if there should be any lesions in any of these organs, they will get better from day to day and soon be entirely healed. I must add also, and this is extremely important, that if up to the present time you have lacked self-confidence in yourself, I tell you that this self-distrust will disappear little by little and give place to self-confidence, based on the knowledge of the force of incalculable power which is in each of us. It is absolutely necessary for every human being to possess this confidence. Without it, one can accomplish nothing. With it, one can attain to the heights of human perfection. Now, you are going to have faith in yourself and in your ability to accomplish all things well, whatsoever it becomes your duty to perform. Hence, when you wish to do something reasonable or when you have a duty to perform, 
Always think that it is easy and anticipate the joy of accomplishment. Make the words difficult, impossible, I cannot, etc. all disappear from your vocabulary. They send forth negative vibrations and lead to disappointment and defeat. Think positively. Say to yourself, it is easy and I can. In the degree that you consider a task easy, it takes on those qualifications, although it might seem difficult to others. Your work will no longer be a burden, and you will perform your task cheerfully and well, and without fatigue, because you do it without forced effort. On the other hand, if you had considered the task difficult or impossible, it would have become so for you, and it would have left you tired and perhaps depressed. In short, I mean that from every point of view, physically as well as mentally, you will enjoy excellent health, better health than you have ever been able to enjoy up to the present. Now, I am going to count up to three, and when I say three, you will open your eyes and come out of this passive state in which you are now. You will come out of it quite natural without feeling the least drowsy or tired. On the contrary, you will feel strong, vigorous, alert, active, full of life. Further still, you will feel very cheerful and fit in every respect. All right, now, one, two, three.